Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. Previously, I talked about ARIMA models without any seasonality in them. And we talked about uh, three components of uh, an ARIMA model, starting right uh, in the middle from the integration part. And uh, we may need to take the difference of uh, a time series if uh, it is not stationary. And uh, this I part of an ARIMA model represents uh, the integration and then we have uh, the autoregressive part which shows how many legs of uh, a variable yt we should be including on the right hand side and then uh, this ma part shows uh, the number of uh, legs of the forecast error that we should be including in our model so in addition to capturing uh, these three components it is also possible to include uh, seasonality in the arima model that is if we have uh, a time series with uh, some patterns repeating themselves uh, in uh, a regular frequency we can model those uh, patterns in uh, arima models these uh, seasonal arima models are also called uh, as arima previously we represented arima models uh, using pd and q where p represents the order of uh, the ar process and q represents uh, the order of uh, the MA process that we should be including in our model and D is uh, the number of differences required uh, to make a time series uh, stationary. So this was the non-seasonal component of uh, the ARIMA model that we talked uh, about so far. Now in addition to this non-seasonal component, we can also model seasonality in these ARIMA models by including uh, another component uh, in this uh, ARIMA model. So we'll include two components in uh, an ARIMA model. The first component will represent the non-seasonal part and then we'll include a seasonal component in the ARIMA models and we represent P, D and Q in the uppercase letters to represent the seasonal part. And again here P represents uh, the number of AR processes that we should be including uh, related to the seasonality and uh, the uppercase Q represents the number of MA processes of uh, the seasonal component that we will be including in our model and uh, this uppercase D represents the number of uh, seasonal differences uh, that we require in order to make uh, this series uh, stationary and then this M represents uh, the frequency of the data set. Here is an example. And uh, we can write uh, this type of ARIMA model as 111111 and uh, M here is 4 which shows that our data set is uh, quarterly. So we are including one AR process of uh, the non-seasonal component and one MA process of uh, the non-seasonal uh, component in our model here. And then we are taking the first difference uh, to make uh, this series uh, stationary. And then we have uh, one MA and one AR processes uh, of uh, the seasonal component in this model and we are also taking the first seasonal difference to make uh, this uh, series uh, stationary. So this is uh, how we model uh, the ARIMA models with seasonality. In the next video I'll talk about how to choose the order of uh, the non-seasonal components of the AR and MA processes and uh, the seasonal components of uh, the AR and MA processes uh, from the ACF and PACF uh, plots. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.